What's up guys, it's Chad here with Gear Views coming to you from my computer room today. Obviously if you've clicked on my video, your Alienware um, X51 R2 or R3 is having some issues. I'm going to go over what the issues I have are with my computer and what I did to fix them and hopefully it will fix the problem. Stay tuned right after this. Here is my computer. Um, as you can see behind me, I got a dual monitor set up here, which is my work computer. And then I got a large single monitor in the back. That is what is connected to the Alienware. All right, this is a X51 R3, the Revision 3. I had this for about six years now. All right, specs on this is the i7-6700, um, GTX, uh, what is it? The 960, and... It's, you know, 16 gigs of RAM, 2133 megahertz. Probably got something wrong. If I did, obviously, you can leave it in the comments below. Um, I use this for video editing, mainly for YouTube, and I do some wedding videography on the side as well. And that's obviously shot in 1080 or 4K, and this has been handling it no problem. Um, long story short, I rearranged all this when I got this dual monitor set up, and right after I rearranged everything, this computer right here started having problems. Um, I noticed it because anytime I go into a program, like my editing software, the the internal fan on this would just skyrocket and it would just sound like a dang airplane was flying by. Um, so I'm gonna show a couple quick videos from my cell phone. Okay, this mount right here looks like it's uh, tight, okay? And then this mount right here looks cracked and it looks like it's like free bouncing. And then, so does that one. And those are going from me to my brother, um, because he's a computer expert, and I'm not quite as good as him. Um, but I'm going to crack this open. We're going to get something old out and something new installed. First things first, we have to get the side panel on this out. So you're going to want to lay it down, okay? Obviously on the back here, the only screw you have to worry about is going to be on the right-hand side right here. So we're just going to get that taken care of. I mean, obviously it's a Phillips head. Try not to lose anything, put it off to the side in a safe place. All right, so I'm kind of weird. I left uh, all the plastic on here, all right, from, uh, from the shipping. Again, this has been on here about six years. All right, so we're gonna open this up. Okay, I have already removed the part on here that is not working correctly, okay? And so I'm just doing this just to show you guys. So open this up, all right? The first thing you're gonna to wanna to disconnect is this little guy right here, all right? It is a five pin. That's pretty much for the side panel lighting. All right, get that all off to the side. Okay, now, meat and potatoes. All right, obviously you can see the CPU. There is something missing, okay? All right. All right, there is supposed to be a heat sink and a fan over top of the CPU. It is gone. I will show you exactly why. All right, hopefully we can see this here. I'm gonna zoom on in a little bit better. Okay, do you see the plastic mount where this screw is? I'm hoping you guys can catch this. If you can't, there are four mounts that hold this heatsink onto the CPU, okay? Three out of the four are literally cracked, all right? So it must have been when I was moving the computer around to make room for my new computer, I must have just literally bumped it and these little plastic mounts cracked, all right? So I had to get something new. All right, again, in here, again, this is a i7-6700, all right? So, I don't know if you can see that or not, but don't worry about it, you have to take my word for it. This is a 6700, okay? It is a socket, I believe it's 1151. All right, so let me get something new here. Here is what's going on new. 
So this is the this is the Cooler Master I-71C. All right, so they make the I-70 and the I-71C. It's very similar, okay? I'm going to zoom in on the back. Hopefully you guys can see this. All right, specifically says for LGA 1156, 55, 51, 50, and 1200, okay? So hypothetically, looking at the specs, this should work on my computer. All right, again, hypothetically, I don't know 100% yet, haven't even t gotten it out, and obviously I had to get some Cooler Master Thermal Compound, okay? So hopefully this one will be just fine as well. All right, so we're gonna do a quick unboxing here on this. The only thing that really is a difference between the 71 and the 70 is I believe this has the the color changing LEDs, the RGB, okay? So let's get this out. Here is the back plate, which I don't believe I'm gonna have to use since it is already, you know, the uh, motherboard is already tapped for it. All right, here is the unit itself. This is a very good looking unit. Um, all the heatsink and stuff is black, which is going to look good, obviously, to match my case here. However, there's no actual window for the Alienware X51, so you won't even be able to see it. All right, obviously, it's a clear fan. You got two connectors. All right, you got the uh, you got the five pin that actually goes. Um, All right, to the motherboard, and then you have this other four pin that's gonna go to a, if you wanna hook it up to actually light the fan. And then you have the little controller and extra wires that go to your power supply. All right, CPU is clean. All right, heat sink clean, dry. You know, no dust or debris in there, okay? Gonna get out my new thermal paste. Again, this is the standard you know, Cooler Master got off this whole thing off of Amazon as a package deal. They, this was almost like a dollar, two dollars. All right. There is a lot of controversy on exactly the right pattern to put. I like to put just five small peas. Okay, so we're going to go for this. All right. There's one P, two P, three P, four P. Five P's, okay? I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to zoom in a little better. All right, that's what I've been using, five little dots. Okay. All right, so here we have the heat sink. I'm going to put the wire side onto the connector side. I don't wanna to have to route it all the way around, okay? Just going to put it right here. And then I'm going to get some little zip ties and zip tie this in a bundle. All right. All right, again, I'm going to take this bundle of wires, fold it over, use just a tiny black zip tie, and I'm going to zip tie them together. Again, um, with this particular computer, I'm not actually going to use the lighting on this because this whole case side, the whole case itself is all closed off. You can't see it. So I, I'm not even gonna waste my time, okay? So I'm gonna get the proper connector, which is the little four pin. All right, there's two four pins. All right, it's the one that has the square openings, not the round ones, okay? All right, so again, I'm gonna put that closest to where the connector is, this little white connector I showed earlier. All right, I'm going to put this down in there all right, this, heat, this fan is much bigger than the factory one, as you can see. This is a 120 millimeter fan. I believe this one was an 80. So this little heat shroud does not fit perfectly. You have to kind of angle it and set it down in there. Okay. Try to get it right over top of, all right, the CPU. All right, line up all the screws in there almost perfectly and essentially when you put pressure down it is going to spread the thermal paste and you should get a good connection there all 
All right, we don't tighten this all down at once, okay? We, it's like changing a tire. Okay. You go cross pattern. Okay, then you go over here to this next one. Sorry if I'm in your way. Again, you don't want to strip anything out or break it. So just give it a good tight, good tighten on here. These things are spring loaded, okay? So it's gonna help, you know, not getting anything stripped or broken. All right, you will feel a stop, a hard stop. So that looks good, okay. I'm hoping I can get my fingers in here. Well, we will see. Right here, this is shot in uh, 4K. Um, it was literally 100% uh, fan speed. Um, I'm gonna turn the volume down here. All right, and if you can see back here and here, I mean, it is almost silent. And like I said before, with the old fan, um, when the mounts cracked, the um, CPU wasn't actually touching the heat sink and it was skyrocketing the temps. So I'm gonna give this two thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the description below. And as always, have a great weekend.